This right here would be the old LS Lures half ounce flipping jig. You see that green film? Try and catch this gosh dang stud. There's one deep in there. We are out, we're gonna be tossing around some old jigs or chatterbait. I'm not sure yet. Got some new ones I'm gonna try out. Hopefully we can get something figured out with one of those two. Later I can throw on a buzz bait too, got some of them. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'm gonna get the boat out here. This water, I don't know if the camera's really gonna do it justice, but like, you see that green film? It is just blue green algae everywhere. Like the whole lake is a layer of it. But I've been seeing a lot of good things about this place recently, even with the water looking like this. So hopefully it's good and catch up to you here in a second once I get back in the boat and start making some casts and try and find some fish. I'll make sure that's plugged in. Oh yeah, she's got juice. All right, so you folks are here for this right here be the old LS Lures half ounce flipping jig. I gotta remember this color off the top of my head. I'll pop it up on the screen. I think it's something bluegill. I should, uh, I could almost have black and blue on. I probably should, but we're gonna see. Just go drag around here for a little bit. I can already hear them geese across this lake. Oh yeah, they're coming back. If you've seen in our hunting videos, we have hunted this lake before. I don't know if the jig will really be what the bite is here or not. I've never really caught them great on a jig here. I won't lie. We're gonna head across the lake. I know a spot that should have a mixture of wood, grass, and rocks, and we can just figure it out from there. What I am interested to see with these chatterbaits from them, the blade's flat there. So I'm curious if I'm gonna have to tweak that up or not. I do like that they got eyes on them. Big plus, need them eyes. But, you may have to play with the blade here. We will see. By the way, these chatterbait hooks, they are no joke. For a chatterbait, I'm honestly worried I might have to upsize a rod. <laughs> like, my rod might not be heavy enough for these hooks. We're gonna flip these few logs and then we'll go up shallow and try out some grass here. I get the fish on there. Oh yeah, that thing was all sorts of wrapped up down in the bush. I thought it was on a tree. It was so hung up when he bit. Come here. <laughs> That's a nice start. Maybe they stay on them deep, deep logs. Look at that sucker right in the side of the mouth. It's a healthy little two and a half pounder. See ya. Well, that's a good start. Starting off one for one. The one thing I was worried about, I actually trimmed it down just the tiniest of bits. Was on this weed guard being a little long. I probably... I mean, I didn't even take off a centimeter of it. Just fractional stuff, but I was worried about that before. That fish just smelled like a fish. Um, like, usually fish are sm fishy smelling, obviously, but oh, that one stank. This is just the type of thing that, like, you always gotta check. When you see a drain, it don't matter which side of it you're on, you check it every time. By the way, this one that I got here is the old pinhead bladed jig they got. There's also a football bladed jig, which I didn't get that one. I stuck with the more traditional style. Ooh, something just swirled right next to my bait. Something swirled up out of the grass there, just to the right of my bait. Oh, it pulled out. One bit it right when it landed in there. Let's see. Will he bite again? Right in this little area. Just feeling good about it. There's one. Oh, it's tiny. Yep. That's probably why I missed the last one. 
full like half pounder right when it hit the water. That thing hit it so fast, I thought it was about to be a giant. There's like, I think there's a bunch of little ones a swarm in it when it landed. Just got doinked. I think it was another one of them tiny boys. Them big ones, you like, they hit it. And you know they're big. These ones don't feel like that. Yep. I let him get it for a while. That feels like a decent one. I think that's a pretty decent one. Oh yeah. This one's gotta be decent. Not too shabby. Let's flip him up in here. A little upgrade from that last one I'd say. Right up there in the jaw. So I'm just throwing that old bluegill swim or flipping jig. Just doinked him right there in the face. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can get us another one here. We think we found a little, little hot spot right here. That's like six bites and oh, there's another one. Has he got it? Yeah, he does. That was another small one, I think. Three, th three straight casts into that corner. Come on. There's got to be a big one lurking around these things. There's some sixes in this lake. I think they're up in this grass. I just can't get the jig too close. If I'm in the grass, I mean, with a jig, it's pretty hard to throw a jig into grass. It doesn't work for that best. That's when the Texas rig works better. But I'm trying to catch some fish on the old jig today. So we're gonna fight through it. I like this spot over here. It's nice and calm. Got a little ASMR with that water flowing out. Just a slight little shh. Nice and soothing. Maybe I need to work this thing way up off the bottom because they're hitting it on the fall off the cast. Every fish I've caught. Other than the one out of the bush. By the way, if you folks are enjoying watching, stay tuned. Just got some mics that are on the way. So we are going to have... Oh, there we go. Is he still there? Yeah. Oh, I set the hook so hard for a 12 inch fish. <sighs> I haven't been missing them though, and they feel like a good one. It's been sticking them. That first catch out of the tree was pretty impressive, honestly. The fact that that fish stayed on, I thought I was snagged he was so wrapped up when I set the hook. I checked it like 10 times. All right, but back to what I was about to say before that fish just had to interrupt me for some reason. I don't know how that happened. I was going to say, got some nice mics coming in, so Kirby and I can be mic'd up in the boat for you all pretty soon here. Should be the next video you see with them because they're coming in in a couple days here. All right. Yep, time to make a move. Let's try and catch this gosh dang stud. There's one deep in there. Come out. There he is. Oh, that was destined to happen. That was a dang nice one. Oh, that thing was so wrapped up in the sticks.
All right, y'all, that is going to do it. Just got the boat packed up, pulling out right now, and we're gonna be heading home. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like subscribe button for us. We'd surely appreciate it. Leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see coming up on the channel. Stay tuned. Got some mics coming. Supposedly a drone coming. Got a bigger lens coming. Or just came in, actually. So we got a lot of good stuff coming. Hope y'all enjoyed. And on that note, we'll catch you in the next video.